All right, it is a uh, gorgeous day here in Nashville in front of Thomas's house. And um, Thomas, what are we doing here? We are going to the audiologist to get my in-ears molded. Uh, there's this thing that musicians do, professional musicians get kind of like ear earbuds, kind of like earphones. Mm -hmm. They put them directly into their ear. Now I have a pair of these that are just like regular headphones, but the problem is that they pop out during play because of physical duress and all that. Uh, and but I'm, sweat. Hmm? Yeah, and sweat, yeah. Piles and piles of sweat. <laughs> so I'm going to the audiologist to get my ears molded and kind of shaped, and then they're gonna take that mold and they're gonna send it to a company uh, called Westone, who is going to take that molding and put hearing devices like speakers and drivers so I can put that directly into my ear and it'll never crawl out again. Mm -hmm. And also it's going to be great because in-ear monitors are not just used to uh, block the sound out or just to hear things, it's to hear the mix, uh, which is really important for a performing musician. And especially as a drummer because a monitor itself is a speaker that's facing you on stage that feeds you back what you're playing and what your bandmates are playing. In-ear monitors go directly into your ear mm -hmm. and they connect to a little cord that goes around my ears, down my back, and into a pack right here and I can control uh, what comes out of that. Like it, it's a little wireless uh, monitor pack that goes to the soundboard and into my mix and I can control what level that's at. So I can hear what I need to while not killing my ears. Because we're doing ear mold impressions? Mm -hmm. Are you taking them with you then? Or um, are we ordering? I'm not sure. I think I'm ordering it for you. Okay, what are we going to be getting for you? Um, West Tone ES30s, I think. ES30s? 30. I think they're the new. Are they the new? Um, yeah. Okay. Let me go grab the book for us yeah. so you can check out colors. Yeah. Colors. Hmm. Right on. Uh, stop. What? What? That's it. Stop. What? Stop. Them. Did, want me to turn it over? It won't. Re How? Relate. What? It's a great idea, it's, especially yeah. being the drum player. Yeah. Get lots of noise. So I've got your monitors right now, but they're like regular earplugs. Oh yeah. So sweaty. they're not custom or anything no, like they, that. No, they pop out every so often. Yeah, you're gonna love these then. Yeah. Yeah, my hearing is completely shot, so it just doesn't really matter to me anymore. So, hmm, I bet it's not completely shot. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I'm joking. I know. I usually fall for it. How does it look? You definitely do not have any impacted wax. Awesome. You just have a little wax around the edges, which is completely normal. Yeah, yeah that, we like to have a little wax. Yeah. It's good protection. Mm -hmm. So, have you ever had your mold impressions made? Nope. Okay. First time. So, I'll walk you through it. What we're going to do is put a little cotton ball down in your ear canal, mm -hmm. and then we're going to fill your ear up with this pink silicone material. Okay. Okay? And we'll get everything documented, so. All right. Awesome. So are we going to see some blood and guts here? Of course not. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Shucks. Slide this in here. You got to go pretty deep, so just bear with me. I'm going to have you look that way just a little bit. Just when I'm going across the ear canal, your yeah. nerves are firing away. I trust you. Okay, that looks good. So let's do the other side. We'll get the worst part over with. Because the next part feels good. Mm. I'm interested. With the material. It's just nice and cool and soft and oh, that's cool. feels kind of soothing. And so the, the cotton makes sure that the, no, no residue gets stuck in there. Yeah, and it stops the uh, silicone material so it doesn't go any farther. So mm -hmm. we don't want it to go to the eardrum. Okay. So that's not just like wax. That's like how does this process work? Do you know? Like how do they do the molds? And so we'll take the impression and then they'll take a scan, a mm -hmm. 3D scan of your mold. Yeah. And then they'll on a computer program they'll put all the components into that scan. Yeah. 
and then they print it. Oh, like three yeah. D. Mm -hmm. oh, that's cool. 3D printing. It's really cool. Those machines are a lot. Futuristic. Very futuristic. I wonder how they did that before 3D printing. They would take that, mm -hmm. make a cast out of it, Just and pretty much hollow it out, yeah. and then put the materials in there. That's cool. They still have to glue on like the front of it and stuff. They can't do the whole thing, but they can make the shell. They carve it in stone. Yeah. Or they just carve it in stone. Ah. Ah, this is not that bad. Okay. <laughs> okay. So no, I know. Edited. You're like ah. <laughs> those nerves. It's an interesting sensation. It's not really pain. It's right. It's just different. It's You're like, not used to uh, it. I always tell patients it feels like you put a cotton swab into you. It's like surprise. Good. I mean, so many people your guys' age and my age don't think about protecting their hearing. Yeah. The way that they should. Even if they're in the audiences at loud concerts, they can still do damage. Oh yeah. And once it's gone, it's gone. I made the mistake of uh, seeing Motorhead without earplugs. <laughs> front row. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, that'd be... It hurt. But it was a good oh, hurt. So got some ringing. you're putting the white and pink together. Yeah, it's an epoxy material. Okay. So it stays nice and soft till we put them together and then it starts the hardening process. So you have to put that in pretty quick then, right? Uh, it, takes a couple minutes for it okay. to set up, but don't want to linger for too long. We'll totally get the other side too. Yeah. Whoa. 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 That's so weird. Oh, holy crap. <laughs> and now there's just, it's just all on the outside of my ear right now. Mm-hmm. And we have to go way up here because that's where the cord's going to go. Oh, cool. Just to let them know the angle. Okay. Now, playing the drums. Yes. Do you open your mouth wide? Do you have it closed? What do you do? Do you mean like, uh, is it my, just my drummer face? Your jaw, yep. Oh, um, interesting enough, I have TMJ. So, okay. uh, I, it's not, I still can open it all the way, mm -hmm. all the way. But, um, it's either slightly black. Slightly open, okay. Or, uh, you know, perform drummer face. Okay. You know, something. Okay. I'm sorry, so what I'm was it? Put you, I'm going to have you put <laughs> this bite block in. I've seen that. Yep. So you're just going to put your top teeth here, bottom teeth here. It's yeah. not too wide. Okay. So go ahead and put that in. Yeah, you're just gonna, it. Yep. Just grab it. Do you make a uh, kissy face when you drum? Was that what that was? <laughs> there you go. And here's this. And just for all your viewers, it's because you might drool. Mm. That's very normal. It's normal to drool. And this <laughs> opens up the ear canal? It helps just with, yes, when you move your jaw, it changes the canal shape. Yeah. So we just want to make sure it's going to be comfortable for you, mm -hmm. no matter what face you're making, whether it's the kissy face or <laughs> the open jaw or anything. Groove face. All right. I'll get this material ready and we'll shoot your right ear. Do I have a face when I make my, or when I play my instrument? I'm sure you do. Well, <laughs> it's like I can't talk right now. So where are you from, Thomas? Oh, uh, please don't talk when that's in your mouth. Oh. Um, do, you have, do you have kids? Do you have kids, Thomas? Uh, uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you again. Please don't talk when that's in your mouth, uh, Thomas. Uh, oh, you're just milking it for the camera. I can't hear you. Yeah, he can't hear a thing right now. Barely. Thomas! I can see you all the way. Oh. It's like you're putting cake in his ears. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'll be right back. Hey, okay, yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's see this. Uh, yeah, yeah. There it is, America. <laughs> you can't even hear me. How are you laughing? I can hear you a little bit. Okay. They're really, really quiet. <laughs> I hate you so much right now. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> I can do 
you a cat with a person like that. Why you see? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? Yeah, no pudding fox. <laughs> what? Cosby, right? Bill Cosby. Oh, Bill Cosby. Yeah. Wait, how is that Bill Cosby? I don't know. <laughs> uh, Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Why'd you just call me? Huh? Where's his ear? There it is, America. Thomas is here. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now we're gonna pull out the other one. I'm not gonna say that was excruciating, but it was definitely not pleasant. It likes to have a kind of suction in the ear a little bit. Yeah, it feels like and it's, sometimes it's too, peeling off my skin. People's eardrums will kind of suction. Yeah. Almost like you're going up and down an airplane. Yeah. I had a um one of my classmates in college, we would practice these on each other and every time we made impressions on him he'd faint. Oh, Ooh. wow. So don't faint, Thomas. Ah, oh. Ooh. I can hear again. You can hear again. Yeah. I, can, I almost feel like and I can hear better ear. than I could before. Probably. Well, we got the wax out. Yeah. And because you were, you just went from not hearing hardly anything to yeah. instantly <laughs> hearing again, which helps. That's like, it's like plastic. Yeah, dude. That's really interesting. Mm hmm it's all for rock and roll. Okay. Um, I was thinking about doing uh, like a Rayleigh or skin tone. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure though. Uh, like the idea behind that is it won't distract people. Mm -hmm. It won't leave into my ears. But someone said that it might do that because it would look strange. But I'm not sure. Yeah, I mean, I think so. My, I think people are getting a lot more used to seeing these in mm -hmm. people's ears. Yeah. That if you get too fancy, then it yes, I think it's distracting. It. Yeah, it like a lime green or something. Yeah. yeah, or some kind of design. Yeah. I think if you do, you know, just kind of a solid color that's not too bright, that mm -hmm. it will be fine, whether it's a skin tone or not. I think they'll real. I mean, I don't know. It's hard for me to say because I'm so used to seeing them, and yeah. I'm like, yes, mm -hmm. put those monitors in. But. I think it's between candy blue, gunmetal, and beige for me. Gunmetal is pretty cool. Yeah. I've had quite a few patients get that. Um, and then where's the candy blue? Oh yeah, that's cool too. And which one? Uh, beige. Beige. Yeah, I mean it's just really, if you want to try to blend into the skin, you want to do the beige. Okay. If you want to give it a little bit of a flare, flare then I would do gunmetal or candy blue. It's really just up to you. Yeah, because I'm going to have these forever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not planning on getting another pair. Um, I think I'll go with beige. Beige? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's great. We'll get you that.